With the current power crisis affecting homes and businesses alike, the race is on to find alternative ways of generating electricity. Africa's leading energy conference, the Energy in Daba, has kicked off in Johannesburg. The Department of Energy began by outlining plans for new power supplies. Let's find out more. Scott Rodsky is an energy lawyer at McFarland. Scott, good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. You know, we accept power cuts are here to stay, of course, but we've also had a lot of proposals from the private sector in the last few weeks for, for more strong structured timetable of outages. Are we likely to see any progress in that direction at the Sindalba? Thanks, Joanne. Um, there's no doubt that there's a power crisis in, in South Africa and a, across Africa at the moment. As you say, we see it every day in, in the load shedding. Um, it was a, a key component of the President's State of the Nation address uh, last week. Yesterday, the Director General of the Department of Energy spoke on behalf of the Minister to uh, also emphasize the need for solutions, including solutions, alternative solutions such as renewable energy. Um, and we've seen those solutions starting to come online in the last few, few years, and they can make a real uh, impact and a, and a real difference that will hopefully over time help to reduce the load shedding. But unfortunately, there's no immediate short-term fix that's going to sort out the load shedding within a matter of days or weeks. Is there a way of accelerating the introduction of independent power producers onto the grid? Well, the, 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 the government here introduced the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Program in 2011. Since then, there's been three successful bidding windows. Um, uh, that, have, that have gone very well. 1,500 megawatts and dozens of projects are now producing energy and feeding it into the grid. We're, we're waiting with bated breath right now for the results of, of round four and for an announcement of the timetable for, for round five. But you're right, what, what industry really wants to know is how sustainable is the program and a clear timetable for the future because the, the resources, the wind and solar and other renewable resources in this country are abundant. And so there's much more opportunity and much more potential for more renewables projects here. Talk to us about how co-generation fits into this, the rest of this puzzle. Sure, well, co-generation co is, is also on the cards for, for South Africa and announcements have been made. We're waiting for the program to be formally launched. But co-generation, for example, is a way of industrial uh, plants that produce things like waste heat and waste steam to harness that heat and steam and produce power. So at the moment that heat just goes up into the atmosphere and isn't being used. But there's, there's technologies that allow that to be captured, turned into power, that can again help towards alleviating the, the shortages that we're experiencing right now. Scott, uh, something that has been mentioned is, is the importance of regional integration in building a reliable power supply. How yes. important could that be for South Africa if we manage to achieve it? No, absolutely. I mean, there is currently some integration. There, is a, um, there are some transmission and distribution networks across the Southern African region, um, but they are limited and there is a limited trading power pool, but there's much more that can be done. And that, again, will not be a short-term solution, but over the, over the coming years, that can help alleviate shortages because other countries, if they have an excess of power, they would be able to export it to South Africa and we would be able to use it here. And likewise, when there's extra power here, we would be able to export it to those countries. Scott, finally, I have to ask you, we, we know that Russia's atomic energy agency, Rosatom, is, is at the end of We understand some of our, our technicians have already been sent to, to Moscow to, to learn uh, nuclear power generation. From what you've learned about this agreement and what's in the public domain so far, is this going to be beneficial to the country? Well, nuclear, of course, is a, is a complicated issue. It's not without its, its, its challenges. Um, but yet some countries, such as France, for example, have 75% of their power generation from nuclear. So in the right circumstances, it can uh, provide a, a lot of, of generation capacity. But again, it's not a short-term solution. We're looking at 10 years or more before we see any new nuclear capacity on the grid here in South Africa whereas things like renewables can come online within a space of one to two years. I mean, we, we, we think back, we can't help but think back to, to the Japanese tsunami, to Daiichi and Fukushima. W would South Africa be able to cope with that kind of crisis? Well, as you, you mentioned Fukushima, and it's interesting in Japan, they have, as a result of Fukushima, decided not to pursue further nuclear plants uh, and to replace their existing nuclear capacity with renewables. So at the moment, South Africa is still planning to introduce about 10,000 megawatts of nuclear capacity to the system here. But as I say, it's a long-term solution and the upfront costs are very expensive. So the, the money has to be found 
as well as you, as you say, dealing with all of the safety issues and concerns. Uh, are, are you suggesting that perhaps, given Japan's example, that we should be we should be thinking about directing our energies more towards uh, towards renewable energy rather than nuclear energy? At this That's point? certainly what a lot of commentators are saying. I mean, we need a mix of energy in this country. It will be a long time before we can say renewables will cover everything. At the moment, we're dominated with coal, which still produces 90% of the power in this country but renewables can be de deployed quickly. We now have a successful program and, and that will uh, be much more beneficial in the short term in, in alleviating the, the current crisis. Nuclear may be a longer term solution.